Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munda de Sereca with your Virgo vs. the Water Signs reading. It is yours or can be if your Sun, Moon, Rising Sun or Venus is in Virgo. So I am going to look into your energies and your person's energies and how it shows up in this love connection and what we can see about it. It's the general part of the reading where I am generally looking at the water signs and in the extended reading on Patreon or you can have a one-off extended link. Um, I am going to look into Virgo versus Cancer, Virgo versus Scorpio and Virgo versus Pisces. So Virgo, your energy shows up as the hawk guidance. And this is a really beautiful energy because it is like um, zooming out and looking at things from a higher perspective. I don't know how much you see, but this hawk has a brown eye and a blue eye. And Spirit is showing me that because um, it's not only the distance from the earth, uh, the, the surface is creating the new perspective but also accepting that different eyes can see different things. So it's um, not being so quick on judging yourself and others on their um, view of the word or actions, something like that. But it is really beautiful because the hawk has wings, it's flying, it's flying high, it's going higher and higher. It can uh, ride the waves of the um, air which is warmer and just lifting them up. So this is really get you Virgo getting higher and higher in frequency and learning to glide um, with the energies. So, yeah, I am really happy about that. Now, your person's energy, your water sign's energy is the monkey serendipity. Now, first of all, this monkey is very much um, occupied with themselves and playing around and doing their things, but their back is shown to you. So they are not looking at you. They show like they don't even care whether that's the truth or not we are going to find it out it definitely looks like you are not in the same realms although the hawk can land on the the earth the and the trees monkey can climb up the trees so you can find a common ground but your natural Habitat is very different by the look of it. So let's see, Virgo, in love, what does it mean to have this hawk energy, this guidance? What is happening from your perspective in this love connection? Okay, so we've got the shaman, which is the hierophant in the Rider Waite Tarot, the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So what it means here for you, Virgo, is that you are committed to yourself, to healing yourself, to work on yourself, to connect with the spirit world, with your own soul. And um, you are um, working on your energy. There is this um, new passionate beginning. And I do feel it could be love related but it's more like you uh, getting the taste of adventure and um, having fun in life um, and you also realize that you have many different options you can do so many different things there are so many people out there this love interest of yours who you are thinking of is not the only option for you the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles for you, Virgo. So it's definitely a brand new way of thinking, looking at things. It's like shifting from being uptight and very controlling to more laid back and um, allowing things to happen, which I really like. 
let's see from the bottom of the deck what else we can find out we've got the ten of pentacles with the ace of swords and um, this is the queen of wands now we already have three aces on the table so it's definitely looking at things and moving forward in a very different way you want a long-term connection personal uh, abundance and and someone to commit to you um, or you commit to so you really would like to be in a relationship you can start seeing clearly um, what you want and um, you are starting to work on it making things manifest you are going after your own uh, desires and how to manifest them so you are ready for a rebirth you definitely want to succeed and we've got the ten of cups as well so two tens here they are both representing this huge change of a cycle closing and the new one starting and um, when you see this reading it will be on uh, the 12th i believe and that's when mars going direct and Mars is governing the masculine energies. And when it goes direct, what you can feel is a bit of uplift, a bit of, oh, things are becoming easier because um, we were forced, whether men, and, men or women, to look within and see our own masculine inside. How it works, do we set boundaries, do we have a regime of uh, what we do every day, certain habits, do we, are we consistent? Um, we had to revise, review these things. And we've got the coal here with the moon and the sun. Now, the coal is the judgment card in the Rider weight and uh, the moon and the sun right next to each other. So, Virgo, I do believe that you are on the brink of seeing things completely differently and I feel that affects your love life as well. Um, it's like um, what you may have been hung up on before or for a long time. Now you are like, what was I thinking? Why was I worried about this? So you are definitely looking at your fears looking at what makes you happy and trying to make a call on which way to go, what to do in this love connection because you know what you want from a connection, a relationship. But what I feel is you might not be sure yet whether this person, this water sign love interest is the one you want to be with. So that's why you are going higher with the hawk and try to see things um, in a different perspective from a higher point. So let's look into this monkey energy of your water sign love interest. How they see this love connection with you from their perspective? this water sign love interest we've got the chariot the two of pentacles and the ten of cups wow you both have the ten of cups okay and the bottom of the deck for them is the king of wands wow it is becoming more exciting I'm going to say that your person is trying to decide whether they would like to be single and go it along or they would like to be with you. So it looks like both of you are in the position of rethinking this connection. You know what you want, you are just not sure that your person can be what or who you want. And your person is deciding between being single or giving that up and be in a relationship. So you are both making decisions but slightly different ways.
Okay. And also this King of Wands is showing that they want to take action. So they um, are showing up as the queen, King. They know what they want. And uh, let's see what they want. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. You both have the Ace of Swords and the Six. Oh, you might have had the Six of Pentacles with that. No? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I was just dreaming that. So, um, they want things to turn for the better in their own life. They start to see clearly that a decision, they are a decision away from happiness. And they do feel that there is a soul contract with you, something big here. And um, the High Priestess, the Star and the Hangman. Oh my God, three major arcana cards coming out at once. Um, so we've got the High Priestess who is here very uh, much like, I would say, playful and powerful. So... Your water sign love interest looks like they like to experiment with things and they have some kind of magic inner gifts and uh, they are just learning about that. The star is showing their wishes and desires and the hanged man is not sure how they can play it out. And um, so what I feel is that They want to be happy. They don't really want to let you go, but they don't know how to proceed. Three of Cups, the Magician and the World card. More Major Arcana cards. So they feel happy with you. They feel that somehow you are meant for each other and um, they want to reach up to the stars and they want um, to start anew. So the two of you are not a hundred miles away for e from each other in what you want but your person needs to decide whether they want to be in a relationship and you need to decide whether they are good enough for you so it is slightly different now let's ask what is the obstacle from your water side love interest uh, water sign love interest side Ace of Wands with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So the obstacle is showing up as they want um, a new chapter with you. They want to continue with you. Um, but they are also feeling this need to hold their truth close to them so not really wanting to share with you the what they truly truly feel how they truly are in this connection but they are bringing their love so they are just possibly scared that you are going to abandon them look at that We've got the four of wands, so coming together, queen of swords, possibly trying to cut them out. Ten of wands and the nine of swords, because they have too many burdens, because they are anxious, worried. So they might feel this from you that they might not be enough for you so that's what makes them hesitate to come to you and um, allow this connection to naturally grow to the next level so what is the outcome a possible outcome right now king of pentacles with the knight of swords at the bottom wow that's ex exciting Well, you have the moon and the sun. They have the sun card, the eight of pentacles. So they want to work on their happiness. They are leaving the past behind, ready to take a, 
uh, leap of faith. They want progress. They want the equal giving and receiving, but this devil card is suddenly showing up. So, I feel that they are going to decide to commit. They are going to decide to go for the relationship rather than being single. So, it is very interesting. Now let's see this outcome, this King of Pentacles, what the Island Time Venice Oracle is saying about this. Passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. And the bottom of the deck is the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So it looks like you have a path moving forward where the two of you are deciding to go for it and you are going to not to regret it. It will be working out between the two of you. So let's ask the universe for some guidance here. And then I am going to continue this on Patreon with Virgo versus Cancer, Virgo versus Scorpio and Virgo versus Pisces. Two of them turned around. You were born with that it quality and that you have options is meaningful. Rock on. Mm, so be confident in your um, unique energies and um, you always have a choice. So do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed. And if still they don't notice your good looks, your strength and your sachet, sachet, ses, ses, I don't know, could you feel more sorry for them? Tally ho, the universe. So, do not need, you, you do not want to be needy. And the other one says, if I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance, just as you now are to the lives of so very many. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Oh, shoot, you were such a good idea, the universe. So this is really about appreciating um, each other, appreciating this possibility to be with each other, to be together and um, literally go for it. So I am going to continue on Patreon with um, the extended and um, as usual, I will choose one card from here and then look into the obstacle and the outcome more. So thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. If you wish to receive my videos in the future, please hit the notification bell. And if you want a personal reading or coaching session, then please reach out. I'm very grateful for you to be here. Take care. Bye for now.